What is up, Obscure Mike people? It's Bart coming at you yet again. Same shirt, different time, same channel. Uh, usually I do two or three videos at once. So you might notice me wearing the same clothes here and there. I don't know, man. SM58 in hand. Carol Microphones back on the channel. Uh, Carol, thank you. Sent me over uh, a bundle. It's a bundle of microphones. And uh, these ones here are the E Plus series. Or is that Sigma Plus series? You be the judge. Sometimes I say Sigma. Sometimes I say E. Sigma E. Sigma E. Uh, but let's let's get this rocking and rolling. Let's take a look at what comes in these microphone boxes. All right. Let's break into the old Carol. Yeah. Let's get inside a Carol. <laughs> Walking Dead. Oh, oh, gray. Okay. We are inside of Carol. Not Cheryl. Somebody, somebody at a big channel would be really upset if we were inside Cheryl. So inside of Carol, the box, we get an XLR to quarter inch cable. Yeehaw, hip hip hooray. And we get the, uh, you know, the very basic microphone mount there. Cat scratch fever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we get a, a bubbly bag. Put a little bit of lotion in that. Good times. And then we've got the Carol microphone, which is uh, built like an absolute beast. Heavy, feels good in the hand. That's what she said. On and off switch, XLR port. Uh, just a really, I mean, this thing feels awesome. We got a neodymium capsule in there. Shock mounted internally. Very nice stuff. I'm not even going to show you the Sigma E2 versus the Sigma E1. Exact same look. Capsule, switch, they're the same. Oh, I do want to show you this frequency response chart though. It is a super cardioid polar pattern. Frequency responses on both. So we got the one and the two, and the two seems to have a little more of a roll off in the top end. So we'll see if that becomes evident. Just a little roll off there. The rest of it's pretty close. All right, so we're still on the SM58. And just as promised, Sigma 1, Sigma 2, Sigma 1, Sigma 2. Freaking identical, man. Capsules look the same, whole nine yards. Both built like tanks, both on off switches, same color, same everything. Uh, you'll just have to decide if you hear a difference in sound. The only distinguishing feature that sets them apart is the one and the two on the, uh, yeah, the writing. So SM58's out of here. Let's rock on with the Carols. Sigma one, will you please stand up? Sigma one from Carol, please stand up. This is the Carol Sigma One, and this is what it sounds like. Super cardioid polar pattern. Sounds pretty good. Lacks a little bit of the low end that the SM58 had, but otherwise still pretty smooth up top, nice in the mids, just lacking a little bit of that oomph. Here's the Sigma Two, and it also lacks a little bit of that oomph in the low end. And this one is the one that has the little bit of roll off at the end of that treble frequency. And I'm not quite sure that I hear it or not. Sigma two, Sigma two, Sigma one, Sigma one. The Sigma one might even sound just a little bit heavier at the bottom, even though neither of them are heavy. But this one, uh, yeah, this one might sound a little tiny bit more full than the two. Back on the two, and yeah, I, I do believe... The two is just a little bit thinner. Maybe this is a little better for instruments and the Sigma one's a little better for voice, but let's go back to the one, do the test, then do the two, then do the third. Yeah. First off, the on off switch on the Sigma plus one. I'm gonna be talking into the microphone as I switch back on. Not much of an audible noise, pretty smooth, good switches. Hell yeah, bitches. Let's go ahead and do some plosives. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. And when you get right on top of the E Sigma plus Carol one, this is what it sounds like when you're really, really close, like within an inch of the microphone. This is what that sounds like. Handling noise. Noise. 
not bad and the carol mics typically aren't because again heavy like built really well fantastic metal good build quality nice oomph oomph now let's do the off axis rejection front of the microphone going 90 degrees off axis 180 degrees off axis 90 degrees yet again and then slowly back around on that super cardioid polar pattern to the front of my mouth and that is good rejection she rejects me all the time she effing hates me <laughs> sigma e2 let's do the on off switch should be the same Bobby. hey I'm back. Uh, I was trying not to do the skiddly biddly boodly biddly boodly biddly bop with the, uh, I was trying to end that before I unmuted it so I could get professional again. But instead I was like, beep, boop, beep, boop. when you get right on top of the E plus two, this is what it sounds like right on top of the E plus two. Now we're going to do the handling noise on this. Readout meters, pretty much the same. Again, same body, same internally shock mounted capsule that's what i was trying to say uh yeah good to go so let's talk into the front of the microphone now we're going to go 90 degrees off axis on the super cardioid polar pattern 180 90 again a background to the front of the microphone uh just in case you do hear some noise it's cold as shit in ohio so there is a heater on the studio and i'm not turning it off so if you do think you hear a little bit of a background noise that's what that is and it's just going to have to be what it is because again it's snowing it's cold it's almost christmas in ohio and i hate it so bad i want it to end not a holiday person just not really into it consumerism we are back on the e plus one i will say i prefer the sound of the e plus one just a little more it's a little fuller a little nicer overall more pleasing um, both of them sound pretty good though the Shure SM58 is a really good test subject because you get that good bottom end and you get that nice modernish crispy top end from that microphone not to a crazy extent it's just got a really nice top end that cuts through a mix so it's pretty good to measure against other dynamics like I've never been the biggest fan of this mic but it's pretty good all things considered it's it's hard not to admit that it's just a pretty good mic uh carol also makes pretty good mics she does a great job at making these microphones and she did a fantastic job of letting us get in her to get those parts out thanks carol let's go ahead and give these a score on the bb saw baby dinosaur and <laughs> bb saw it just sounds like a dinosaur name so i never even talked about the price i don't it doesn't matter we'll talk about it when we talk about it the plus one is 42 bucks and the plus two is 32 bucks and on the bb saw for that price on these microphones i'm going to give each of them a score of a seven because i think both of them are good definitely worth buying you're getting great build quality for that 32 and 42 bucks it is a competitive market though as far as sound quality goes the v2 switch is a microphone that i love the sound quality of but it lacks the build quality and the handling noise rejection that the carols do and the the sounds of them i do believe are pretty close so that 40 50 dollar market 32 30 40 50 that market there it's pretty competitive and i think considering the build quality of these the off-axis rejection the handling noise the on off switch these are a pretty good buy it's just tough in that dynamic world so it's hard to score them higher it's going to come down to aesthetically do you like the looks of it do you like the sound of it what do you like what do you not i'm pretty sure this is going to make a better instrument mike the plus two uh, the plus one, a pretty solid vocal mic. I like the way I sound on it. I do wish it had just a touch more bottom, but don't we all wish they all had a touch more bottom? That's what Freddie Mercury said. Don't know what I'm doing. It's a new thing. Yeah, no idea what it is. Just juking, jiving, surviving. 
That's all I got for you guys. Carol, thanks for sending these over. I really like Carol microphones. Like, literally do. Uh, on my Oma review, I suggested maybe we needed a Bark Signature series of that microphone or something. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep pitching it. Carol, we need an, an obscure or like a barkraphone. Barkraphone? A barkaphone. We need somebody eventually is going to take me up on this like custom obscure mics model or the bark model. Someone's going to do it eventually. Maybe Carol will be the one. I like Carol microphones. So there's, there's no mystery there. Every Carol microphone I have tried has value for some reason or another. These are no different. These are excellently crafted microphones and i like them now they're not perfect very debatable here 100 bucks 42 bucks which one do you want more i do think this one is just ever so slightly smoother but it lacks a little bit of that bottom end either way great mics you can't say one's better than the other officially because every voice is different and so on and so forth but we can definitely, uh, we can definitely say some stuff. And that's what this channel is all about. I say some stuff. Obscure mics. I will see you guys next time. Take care of each other. Merry friggin' Christmas. And a happy 2024. Hopefully no world war. Or no dictators. Hopefully just a smooth sailing 2024. Peace out.